I'm Beth Whitfield and this is EcoStyle. Today we're in Santa Monica, California at the Eco Gift Festival. Now I don't know if you've done all your Christmas shopping, but I haven't. So here's the twist. We only have one week to do this and all the work has to be done at night. Now for most people this would be an impossible task, but I'm the queen of remodel and I've done hundreds of these. Dana of Theo Chocolates, and Theo Chocolates Organic Chocolate, is that correct? Yes, organic and fair trade. Fair trade, excellent. And how did you go about coming up with Theo, the name of Theo? Theo is actually short for Theo Broma Cacao. It's the botanical Thema name Broma Cacao. Can you say that three times fast? Oh my god. <laughs> so good. <laughs> now I need a glass of milk. Somebody. <laughs> So before I started this remodel, Amy and Dave were having a little bit of a communication problem in the form of a wall. Yes, there was a big wall blocking the living room from the kitchen. So if Amy's in there making a gourmet meal, and Dave, well, he's probably watching the Chicago Bears in the living room. He's a big fan. Well, there's no communicating going on. So I blew out the wall and put in a nice new countertop. But first, I'm gonna show you what it did look like. Now once this project's finished, this doorway's gonna be much wider. We're gonna put all this electrical over there, and over here we're gonna have a pony wall with a Caesar stone countertop. In the ceiling, we're gonna put some recessed cam lights, maybe some LED lights. That way they'll have a surface to put their computers or anything they wanna work on. Now once this is all open, the kitchen and the living room will be one big wide open space. Open your eyes. Oh my God, oh my God, I love it. This is amazing. This is so much better than I thought. So before we were just gonna widen the dory, but instead we blew out the whole wall, put in your nice new Caesar stone countertop. It's beautiful. Over here, I put in storage cabinets so you have extra space. Oh my God. Put dishes, maybe Rigby's little bottles. Rigby's <laughs> coming in a few days. Well, we've had a full day here at the Santa Monica Eco Gift Festival. We've shown you all kinds of alternatives for giving, receiving, and wrapping your gifts in an eco-friendly way. I found a few things myself, so I'm ready to go now. Thanks for coming by. I'm Beth Whitfield with Eco Style. Tonight, I'm gonna show you that you don't need a fancy zip code to maximize your design style and minimize your impact on the environment. Now part of this remodel was implementing some eco-friendly designs. As you can see, we have our bamboo tables, our LED can lights for night, and for the daytime, we have solar tubes, one of my favorite products for natural daylight. Well, today we're in sunny Santa Monica, California, and it just doesn't get better than this. It's beautiful out today, but we can't be out here all day long, so I'm gonna show you how to bring a little bit of the sunshine inside. Come on. So this is a solar tube. Now, I know it looks like a regular can light, but actually, on the roof, there's a dome that captures the sunlight brings it down through the tube and reflects it out through your house. Today we're in front of this condo because it's for sale and there's been no offers in six months. And I think it's because of the pink salmon color and these old bushes. So I'm gonna change all of that, put a fresh new coat of paint, some nice plants in there, and it's gonna look as good as new. I bet you're wondering why I brought you to this not so glamorous alley. Well, that's because this is where I find all of my good treasures. I think we can make a great table out of this. Okay, so we're finished painting the table now. I've got this piece of glass cut down at the glass shop put it on. I think it just needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but looks good. Well, my work's done here. The restaurant looks great. Thanks for coming by. I'm Beth Whitfield with Eco Style, and remember, keep it green. Uh-oh.